Alright guys, what is up? Video Game Jane Poop here with a brand new playthrough. And no, it's not going to be New Super Mario Bros. U this time. Uh, I, as I promised, uh, I might do that after this. But this time we are doing Star Fox 2. The sequel to Star Fox, of course. Or Star Wing in Europe. Um, now, this game is very interesting because it had a long history of development back in 95. Well, start of 93 to 95 got cancelled then, and was scheduled for 96 release, but still got cancelled, and it was not released until 2017 on the Super Nintendo Classic Edition, which is what I'm playing this on. So yeah, this it's kind of have a rough development, I guess, uh, for Star Fox 2. Despite being shown many times back then, it wasn't released until now. So yeah, so we can finally all play it without going through those prototypes and ROM downloadings and such. Anyways, um, so of course this is a sequel to uh, the original Star Fox uh, uh, back on the Super Nintendo. This also uses the Super FX chip, but specifically this one uses the Super FX 2 chip. So the sequel to the Super FX chip. <laughs> so yeah. Uh, so yeah, we're going to play through the game. Uh, so this time it's difficulty, so you have normal, hard and expert. Expert mode you have to unlock, and I'll explain how to unlock it when we finish it. I'm gonna do uh, each of these one video again. I've done normal and hard mode before, uh, but expert mode I've only done a bit of it for like a few collectibles and that, but I've not actually finished it on that difficulty. But let me tell you, it's very hard if it's your first time. Change between stereo and mono and then record is just your score. So yeah, I've beaten the game twice. As you can see here, yeah, and and the total is 47 for us. Those are the medals, so we have to collect them to uh, their medals for the game. So you have to collect them. So I'm gonna do the first part of the game on normal. I'm gonna do the first video on normal, the other video on hard, and then the last on expert. Uh, and hopefully I can do it. But let me say, normal mode is like the easiest. So let's start. I have returned, I shall make the Cornarian snuffer. Inhabitants of Cornaria, you shall feel my vengeance. I will demonstrate my awesome power on all of Lilet. So yeah, Andros is back. This game is kind of different than the original. Because... Star Fox team, do you read me? I have terrible news. <laughs> Our sworn enemy is... The, the fiend Andros is alive. Even as we speak, he speaks his. He he is launching on assault an assault on Corn area. The battle carriers and attack forces of Andros are are now in, advancing on Corn area. Enemy bases have been established on overrun planets. Planetary missiles will be fired from these enemies' bases. Once again, you mu we must ask for your assistance, Star Fox. Corn area will survive if it sustains minor damage but if it reaches a hundred percent it's all over engage the forces of andros while at the same time keeping damage to corn area at the lowest level possible good luck <laughs> i tried to do it star fox 64 voice but didn't really go out well and we get to select a character this time or in this case select pilots so um unlike in the original you, you can only play as fox so you have Fox, you have Falco, Peppy, Slippy, and then two characters that are not in any other games, Mew and Faye. So, and you can also change your controls as well, but I prefer Control A. Um, and each of these have different abilities as well. The three next to the item are different ones, so that's a bomb ability, Fox and Falco use them. The hearts are for refilling your health, so Peppy and Slippy have that by default. 
and then Mew and Faye have an S. That's like a shield. So, they also have different amounts of health and such as well, and speed, and charging powers. Um, so, for normal mode, we'll go with Fox and Falco, and then for, um, so yeah, you can have a partner as well, basically. Uh, for for hard mode, we'll have Slippy and Peppy, and then for and then for expert mode, we'll use Mew and Faye. So here we go, Fox and Falco. Here we go. Notice the ships are different colors as well, but they're the same types. That means the red ones are likely the the latter ones, and then the blue ones are the, the first ones. Alright. Select a destination by moving the cursor, then press B. To, to engage the enemy, land on planets, and intercept ships. Uh, switch positions with your wingman by pressing select. Uh, return to your mother ship to walk to any free planet. So yeah, you, so yeah, this is kind of a different game. So you can see it's not like, oh, you go to that planet, and then you go to the next, and then you go to the next, and you go to the next until the last one. Nope. This time, you want to, you can go to any planet, well, so if the, if any of these planets are flashing, so here we have Meteor there, and then here, Venom, um, that means there are enemy bases there. And these things, so this, this is a missile, and those are likely enemies. And those things here are carriers, so that's the left one and that's the right one. So, yeah. And then that right up there is the final area, but you cannot access it until, like, almost everything's destroyed. So, and then right here is your mothership. Your mothership! Use the ship to power up shields and warp! Okay, but we're gonna do that. As you can see, when we move, these enemies also move as well. So yeah, that's kind of cool. So we're gonna warp. So we can go to Titania. I don't know if it's spelled different to me or not. Uh, you have Macbeth. You have Eladard, which I think it's the only game that this planet's in. You have Fortuna, and then Corneria itself. And you can also walk to the other- you can only walk to planets that are- that don't have enemy bases, so... If Titania had an enemy base, then we could not walk there. But in this case, we're gonna walk there. Uh, for quicker access. So, uh, So, as we move, the enemies also move. And you touch them, to engage in a battle. So as you can see, we got enemies here. And the cool thing about this game is that charging was added. So you can now charge. Now keep in mind, the enemies on the map, while you're in battle, they will also still move. So meaning you want to be very fast in these. Clear time. <laughs> no seconds at all. Yeah, you want to be very fast in these, because they'll still move when you're in battle mode as well. Oh, and I almost forgot this thing right here. This is our satellite defense platform. It protects corn area. So what this does, if, if it's like charged up and if an enemy's nearby, it will shoot it for you. So yeah, that's cool. Although occasionally the, there may be some things that may attack it. I don't think it happens on normal mode, but on hard and expert mode, that does definitely happen. And you'll need to go there to destroy the enemies there and boom then the satellite will work again because it could also fire at corn area if the enemies are there right missiles they have tons of hp uh, but again you just gotta shoot it a lot you can also use bombs and it can one hit kill them <laughs> yeah but i'm gonna try and do it bombless a bit so i can um yeah you can see the one second there the timer is a bit slow but, yeah. Yeah. The timer does go fast when you're moving. And you can also press the select button to change pilots, so I can switch to Falco. But I'm going to play it with Fox for a bit, and I say for the last part we'll do it with Falco. Um, right. Uh, that enemy is so far away, so we'll go to this carrier first. Um, and then we have this screen. Target one so it's either one or two targets or more uh, uh carriers only have one target so you just gotta fly through here you can hold the Y. you can hold the y button while on a, on a default uh control a type and unlike in the first star fox and later games 
your boost is not limited, so it stays forever. It's basically infinite boost, so you can go very fast. So like here, I'm holding it, but it's not expiring. <laughs> so yeah, it's kind of cool. But also, when you press the select button in these stages, or well, it might do it automatically. I don't know. Y yeah, you can turn into a walker. Yeah, this is the first game to have walking. Well, the walker. This wouldn't appear again until Star Fox Zero on Wii U. The one with awful controls. So yeah. That's kind of cool. And yeah, and... And attacking with the walker is way faster, uh, is better than using the army. It was big, but it's off. It wasn't... Oh, I couldn't read most of Falco's lines. Yeah, so, your partners could also give you hints on the game, basically. Uh, on what you need to do and such. So, I'm gonna go back to the mothership. You can see the satellite is glowing now, so... That means that uh, it will target an enemy, so it'll likely shoot that one right there. Well, that's near Fortuna. Um, right, I'm gonna go to that attack carrier. Yeah, you can see it's powering up. And I don't think you'll get to see it, but it will also try to shoot enemies while you're in action mode as well, so. You, automatic you automatically go to first person mode in um, in space battles and then ground battles you're in third person mode but you can change this in the options view 2 will make it first person in space you can't do that in ground battles it's always third person but i actually prefer it like this it's way easier <laughs> in my opinion so yeah yeah and the charge shot is like very broken almost oh heart yeah i don't know if it I don't know if it replaces them or not. Yeah. Also, occasionally enemies may come out of the area, so and it will say enemy out of range on the screen. That means you couldn't kill it fast enough, or you weren't fast enough to kill it. Here we go. We might be able to demonstrate. Uh, I'm going to go to Meteor anyway. Because you see another glowing thing. That means something else. We'll see it in a moment. Oh, we'll go there first. We meet the Star Wolf team. So this one is... I'm Pigma. I'm Star Wolf. Wing. Beyond my tail. Yeah, Pigma. Yeah, so Pigma is our first one. Andros paid me well. This will be an easy job. Yeah, so yeah. You have the Star Wolf team, and Pigma is one of them. The defense system destroyed an enemy target. So yeah, that's what that's what that satellite means. Yeah, I'm just gonna... One more hit. There we go. Unbelievable. I must be getting old or something. <laughs> yeah. Although it'll likely be a different character you would fight first and not Pigma. Sometimes it's either the another one or Pigma. Or show off the other one. Uh, oh, it's actually following us. It appears Pooty Pet Rat is running about. How cute. Oh, and then. Go play with your pet. Just play nice. <laughs> yeah, he'll bring in own, his own bosses with him as well. So it's not just the Star Wolf team you'll fight, you'll also have to fight these things as well. Uh, I'm gonna go and fight him now. Unless that... Um... Alright, so we're fighting... The Mirage Dragon! <laughs> so yeah, that's what we saw in the intro, that dragon we saw. That was firing... That was firing his laser! Yeah, he's doing it now. And, uh, he's so close to the screen, uh, stop... Stop it. Yeah, he'll spit rocks as well. You just want to keep shooting him. He's a bit easy. Aside from dodging his laser, it's a bit difficult with... Because of the graphics, but still. Got him! Yeah. Not too easy, but... At least... Got him. And yeah, I think one of the Star Wolf members is behind us. Uh, I'm gonna switch to Falco because we got really low health. Oh, actually, we can show off that heart thing anyway. So, this one here is likely he would fight first. Ha! Leon of the Star Wolf Wing is now here. Yeah, Leon. So, um, not to be confused with the, uh, with the, uh, with the one in Resident Evil. Um, uh, this is Leon Wapalski. 
and then Pigma's last name is Dengar. So it's kind of like Gengar of Pokemon, but with a D. Uh, yikes! Get him, Ralph! He's gonna have to deal with you! <laughs> right. So yeah, Leon is a chameleon, and Pigma is, of course, a pig. So, uh, there are two more. Uh, there is, of course, Wolf, and then there's another one that we'll see later on. Um, or you won't be able to fight it in normal mode, I don't think. You can only fight it in hard and expert. So later, let's go to Meteor. Or Meteor. <laughs> Switch unknown. Entrance. And introduce you to one of the coolest music in the game. Yes. And right here, you have a missile. And you want to destroy it. This prevents missiles from attacking. I think it does that. Right, so General Pepper's just explaining controls to us. Yeah, what I find weird about this game is that General Pepper has, like, a larger role in this game than in other Star Fox games. Like, in other games, he just, like, he, he like, tells Fox what he needs to do in certain planets and such. But in this game, he tells, like, way more things than that. Um, and during the game as well. That's kind of cool. Oh, and this thing, this refills your health. This is very useful. And I forgot to show off that heart thing. I should have done that, but it doesn't matter. I got very lucky when fighting Leon. Alright, um... Um... Right, it's a massive spider. Oh, it's the Queen Dragoon. I don't know if that counts as a boss, but... Oh yeah, the select button, you can transform into an R-Wing or the Walker. Now, it is best to use the R-Wing sometimes if you want to do things faster, because... Like here, you would want to use the R-Wing right now. So then you're really fast. You get cool animations like this when you go in the bases. Or destroy this enemy without destroying the box. Then obviously you won't get it now. I won't get it now, but well, aside this, but on your first playthrough, you will get a you will get a pepper coin, a pepper a general pepper medal, and those medals uh, uh, are basically required for a useful weapon in the game. Uh, now there are different amounts in different difficulties. Uh, normal mode has thirteen which I've got all except one, but we'll get that one, and that's in the last one. Uh, hard mode has 90 medals, and expert mode has 20. So, so the extra ones are for the different planets, because on the other difficulties, uh, uh, more planets get attacked. Uh, well, believe it or not, um, it is random what planet gets attacked, so... So for me, in this playthrough, it was Meteor and um, Venom that got attacked, but... On your playthrough, it could be, um, it could be a different one, like, um, I don't know, um, Titania and Venom, or something, or Elodard. Uh, and then on, on Expert and, um, on Expert and, uh, Hard Mode, you can, you will also get Macbeth and Fortuna, uh, uh, enemy, enemy bases as well, and those ones are not in Normal Mode, so, yeah, that's a big difference. And the coins that you usually get in the other planets, they're in different locations. So, yeah. And and the attack carriers that, you know, that we were facing, that we were fighting. Yeah, there are, uh, they're, they actually bring two more, so meaning there's four of them in total, instead of just two. Right, so like these things, these carriers, there's like way more to fight in hardened, in hardened, uh, such. And we got into an enemy fight. It's not a lot of enemies, but... In fact, let's show off our bombs. BOOM! All of them dead. In just 0, 0 0.1 seconds. Or is it minutes for the game time? I don't know. You can see a missile there. That means a missile's about to launch. Battle carriers on corn area. Prepare to planet... Planet cannon. Right. That means they will charge for corn area. Uh, for corn area, and uh, you would. This is why you want to destroy these first, mainly, and then the battle carriers after, and then the, uh, uh, and then the enemy bases after that. And right here, you want to dodge these or take damage. <laughs> All right, it's right here. 
Uh, and over here, right on that side, it's not there now, but there will be a medal there. Like, some medals are incredibly hard to find, but then some are easy. Like, some medals are hidden behind, like, walls, and there are, like, fake walls in these carriers and or enemy bases, uh, occasionally. And usually behind them is a medal. Alright. I'm gonna switch to the walker, because the walker has the best, um, the best, uh, shooting, because it deals more damage than the R-Wing. And I don't remember getting the Twin Blaster. Alright. Now the useful weapon in this game that you can get after getting all medals on a difficulty uh, is the homing, uh, which in prototypes it was there by default, but in the final game, which is this one here, you have to unlock it. Star Fox, you mangy cur! How dare you challenge me again! And what's he gonna do? Oh, he's not gonna do anything. Alright, um... So, yeah. So yeah, the homing ammo is like, almost completely broken in this game. Maybe that's why they made it unlockable. You have to get all medals, and then you'll get like, some secret on the map. Um, and then the homing ammo is unlocked for you. I don't know if it saves and I don't know if it saves completely and- Wow, we defeated that missile very quickly. Um... I don't know if the homing ammo completely saves entirely, or if it's only for a certain difficulty. So, it will only be for normal mode and not for hard and expert. If it is for all of them, then that will be completely useful. Uh, I will show off that secret, of course, because uh, the last medal... There are three medals in the last area, and uh, you can only get two in one playthrough. Uh, because there are, like, different sides you need to go, so... Let's go to Venom. Let's find another enemy base. The satellite will destroy the other enemies. It should, anyway. So... And notice how Venom looks like a good area now. It looks peaceful. It's not... It's no longer, um... Evil and such. Uh, well, that, I think that's Star Fox 2's version. But still. Or maybe this is like the good side of Venom, and then the horrible side of Venom is like the other side. I don't know. Um, right, so I'm gonna fly. Uh, occasionally here you will find mushrooms as well. If uh, uh, I believe I don't know if it's this one or another one, but if you stand on it and if it pushes down, you will get a you'll get a you'll get a medal for that. So. Yeah, so be sure to do that. Uh, I'm not sure if it's this one. So the best way I could do it is like... Go up here. And transform here. Right, it's not this one, but there is, a, there is another mushroom somewhere. I think it's like down there somewhere. And... Um, I was not expecting it to go in there from far away. Uh... And then when you step on it, it'll go down, and then you'll get a uh, medal for it. So yeah, that's kind of cool. Gosh, but now keep in mind, I have got, I've got, I've nearly got all medals. It's only the last area ones that I don't have too much of. Uh, there's only one more I need to collect in normal mode for the last area, and then one more for hard mode, and then then all three in expert mode because again. I've not completely finished expert mode as of the recording of this. So meaning, I think I've got to do expert mode twice, uh, just to do it. I could have done, I could have finished expert mode first, but nah, I decided not to. Then it's just wasting my time. It's weird because I wish you can get all medals in one playthrough, or at least the last ones, because for other planet ones, because medals are always saved, even if you haven't finished the game, or if you failed. So, you can just literally get a medal, and then reset the game, and then it saves. So, you don't have to worry about scores or anything, and if you only- and you, you would only- and it's, it's only like the final area medals that you actually need to finish, because you cannot exit from there, so. I believe it's different in some prototypes, but still. Missile attacks from that planet have ended. Yes, they have. Alright, there's one more thing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch to Falco. Oh, and that thing's not been destroyed. Okay. Okay. 
In fact, you can exit out of the map if you want. And then does that. And if the enemy of the out if enemy is out of range, thing plays then. Yeah. So I'm gonna show off that secret. I'm gonna let's say I walk to Venom here. And then I try to go there. See the satellite. It shoots it. Finally, Andros's forces in the Lilac system are defeated. Press on, you must neutralize Andros once and for all. Of course. But Hear me, Star Fox! I Star Wolf will defeat you now. So yeah, here we go. Wolf O'Donnell. So yeah. Yeah, and he is the last one you would fight. And you have to fight him. He is not optional whatsoever. I think the other ones are. Like you could skip him, but but then again, uh, you'll likely want to. You'll likely need to fight them anyway, since they they guard planets. Like they do occasionally get out, and wow, wow, I'm doing well in this fight. Yeah, and when their health is flashing, it means they're almost dead. So we don't need to worry about time anymore. Of course, if we want to do it quickly, then we, I guess. But still, you don't need to worry about Andros uh, destroying Corneria. And let's use the bomb. And boom! It. I'm impressed, Star Fox. You are talented. Today I lose, but tomorrow I shall crush you. Uh, not at all. Fifty-six seconds. Wow. So we defeated Wolf. Grah, you pathetic foes are completely worthless. Notice how Andros has like a Terminator eyeball. <laughs> Does that mean Andros is a Terminator? I don't know. Um, so then we meet this place, Astropolis, or Astropolis, depending on how you want to say it. Now with this stage, the, the reason why you cannot get all medals in one, you can only get two officially, and then if you want to get the other one you have to play it a second time. Uh, yeah, we're playing as Falcono because, now because, because there are two different sides you can go through. There's the left side or the right side, the right side I mean. I went through the left side before, so we're going to go to the right now. And again, we are playing this on the Super Nintendo Mini, so I can, of course, um... So we go this way, and the medal's right here, so this is what the medals look like. Uh, I'm going to get it after beating all the enemies, though, because they do something they do something else other than other than having requirements to, like, 100% the game, basically. Because, uh, believe it or not, the medals also heal you as well. So I thought, uh, if I take a bit of damage here, then I can use the medal to heal myself. We're just going to shoot this wall. I don't, uh, I don't know if there's like a glitch where you could like glitch through the walls or something and then try to get medals that way. Because you, you think you could go back? Nope, the doors are blocked. You cannot go back. Preventing you from getting the other medal. So yeah. Like the last, like the third medal in this one. So yeah, this is what it's like. You can see our health is healed as well. I don't know if that's actually intended or not. But it's very useful. So I'll take it. Um, uh, this way, I'll just switch to, uh, our wing to be fast. Oh, God, 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 whoa, it's so white here, oh, God. I want to try and destroy this wall enemy. It's going to be very quick. Come on, 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 come on. Yeah, I think the walk is very good in this game. And I like how the different colours depending on what character you are. And the ships will have different designs depending on what other character types it is as well. It's like, so Fox and Falco's ships look the same. Uh, uh, Slippy and Peppy's are the same. And then Mew and Faye's ships are the same. So if you go in here, the, the other coin you can get uh, in any order. Uh, this one you can get in both playthroughs, but... The each ones you have to do in different playthroughs. You have to go in different sides for the other ones. Uh, this is obviously a trap room. But if you stand on this, stand on these, get useful items from them. 
If I can stand on it. Well, that one contains a heart. But what does this one contain? Let's find out. That one contains twin lasers, I believe, so we don't really need them. But you stand on them and then they raise up and then you would try to go under them to get the item. And there's an enemy there, but I'm not going to kill him. Oh, I have to! <laughs> okay. Um, I don't know why the cursor's going up. The cursor only moves up when, when there's an enemy there. Oh, because the enemy's there. Okay. Yeah, it's best to use the walker because the power of attacking is much powerful. And let me just stand on that to refill a bit of my health. Even though it's completely pointless. But still, um... And then we go here for the last area. So yeah, you can see we had we did not die in this playthrough whatsoever because again, normal mode is like very easy. Uh, but on but hard mode is like uh, a bit easy and then a bit hard, and then expert mode is like very hard. It's like even harder. Like it's likely that corn area would get destroyed for you. All right, you usually shoot them, but let's use our bombs. And, it'll, and I think it destroys them all. Yep. And then, and then a picture of Andros here, just like the original. You shoot it a few times. Boom. Bam. But it's not over yet. I think it is, but it's not. Yeah, the music from the original's back. Impressive, but your existence ends here. I will put the rest, don't worry, it'll be quick. And notice how Andros looks different now. Yes, it's like a different mask or something. It's just another polygon thing. So yeah. And it's first person for this fight, because this is, of course, all range mode. And yeah, all range mode is basically where you can fly around freely. So, yeah. And then, right here, we have this, and you just shoot it a few times. And then he's dead. Yes, there you go. Beating Star Fox 2 on normal mode. Yeah, very simple. And on, uh, on normal and expert mode, you will have to hurt him more times. And his, and his mask does change uh, during the fight as well. So similar to the first Star Fox where, well, on the level 2 one, where he'll just transform back into his normal face after a few hits. And then on the level 3 one, he'll do the same, but he'll have, like, a creepier one. Way to go! You did it, but it was a bit weird. You shouldn't have worried. It wasn't that tough. Yeah, the voice acting there as well. You, you, you can barely hear it, but still. And that Eddie Andros is from Falco, definitely. And the in like the prototypes and the Japanese version of the game, he says Adios Andorf. Yeah, does that mean Andorf is like Andros's Japanese name or something, or is it like his nickname? I don't know. But they changed it to Andros outside the uh, prototypes in the Japanese version. And then we got the credits and the enemy cast at the same time, with the moth gliders. So that's what these are. And I believe you get different enemies on different difficulties as well. So yeah. Planet missiles, yeah, of course. I believe, like, in different difficulties, you also have, like, where the missiles are combined and then they separate from each other, and I think if you manage to beat one of it, then it destroys all the missiles, I believe. The Night Fang. <laughs> they don't look like fangs at all. They look like flying fish or something, or flying mice. The Halberd! That's the best part of the music. How come they're called Halbers? Does that mean the Does that mean those birds are from Hal Laboratory, the makers of Kirby games? Nah, just kidding. Skull Toad. 
Is that Toad's skull from Mario then? <laughs> no, no. Did we finally get his hot off for real? No. The Cannon Betrayer. Then, the Mirage Dragon, yeah, we definitely fought him. I think you can only fight him in easy mode. Uh, easy mode, I mean normal mode. It's no easy mode. Normal mode is easy mode. Yeah, you can only fight him in that difficulty. I, I don't know if you can fight him in the others, because in the others, it seems like you fight other ones. So, yeah. Like, other ones that Andros made. The Wolf Team! So, yeah. So, Leon, uh, Pigma, and Wolf, we know, but we don't know who the other one is yet, but we'll find out in the other difficulties. There's Andros, but it's not really Andros because it's like a different face. The end, yes. Then we can push start. But of course we've not even finished the entire game because we need to do the other difficulties. Then you get this. It's a score system. So it's basically how well you did. We've got a C rank. Now, you might think, oh, I've done crap there. But no, this is the highest rank you can get on normal mode. And the highest rank on um, hard mode is B. And, and getting a B rank on that lets you unlock uh, Expert Mode, that's how you unlock Expert Mode. And then the highest rank on Expert Mode, you can get either an A rank, and you can also get a Star rank as well. And that's the best rank you'll want. Because getting a Star rank uh, gets permanent twin lasers for the characters that you did it with. So if I got a Star rank with Fox and Falco, for instance, I would get, it, I would get permanent twin lasers at the start with both of those characters. It's kind of cool. And doing it with all characters means the character select screen will play the corn area theme from the first game. So yeah, that's kind of cool. And then you got to enter our name, and we're in second place. Like, we were higher than before, uh, and because Falco's first instead of Fox, we'll put Fal. And not, like, Fco or something. <laughs> it sounds like swearing, but... Uh, but yeah, you enter your name like that, and you can see we've got 48 medals now. Yeah, 60, 67 time. So, so, uh, what is, the, what was that secret? How you get the, tw how, not the twin lasers, um, now I'm going to do it in normal mode. I don't know if you, I don't know if you get it in the other difficulties as well, or if you've done it from normal mode. Uh, I'm going to, see, we got an orange circle between Macbeth and Venom now. So, what we're going to do. I'm gonna do Fox and Falco again. Let's have Falco first and then Fox. Good luck. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warp there. Uh, I don't care if corn areas like damaged or such. Uh, and you can just press the start button to skip all text. I'm gonna warp uh, to Macbeth because that's the closest. Notice this orange circle here. Yeah, this only appears. Yeah, you've located a secret base. Try to gain, try to gain entrance. Yeah, if you go in there, then it's like a bonus here. Here, homing. So now, blaster level now raised. Homing shots enabled. Yeah. So now we go here in an enemy. Or not. Um, I don't know if it works here. Uh, I think I have to be like... Right, I'm gonna go to walker mode. I'm gonna like aim away from this and then... Or does it only... Or do you have to lock onto an enemy? Like, I don't know, but we got the homing ability. We got the homing ability. Uh, I could try it out in the space battle. I could check what's here, what else is here. Yeah, it's basically a bonus area. So yeah, 
You can only get this when uh, getting all medals on a difficulty, though. So we got all 13 on normal, because I got that last one in this playthrough. Um, uh, that's how you get it. So let's try here. It doesn't seem to move. But how about we return to battle? And then we'll, um, we'll encounter one of those, um, uh, let's do, let's do it to one of the Star Wolf teams. Uh, is it Leon or Pigma we're gonna fight? Pigma, okay. Right, let's see on him. We're gonna, gonna find him. And you can see, it homes in. So yeah. And it's a, it's a, almost a quick kill, and wow, it was following Pigma very well. It's basically a quick kill, on basically anything. Well, I don't think Andros will be affected, but the Star Wolf team are like a god now. You're basically a god. Um, now, I don't know if this saves during, uh, hold, start selecting, uh, L and R to reset the game. I don't know if this saves permanently. I'm gonna try it out. I think it does, um, because I know the coins do. I'm gonna go back to normal mode. Uh, select Fox and Falco. And it's going on the same planets again, wow. Ooh, and it landed on Fox. Okay. I'm gonna skip these. I'm gonna go to an, an a random enemy fight. Um to see if it's still here. If I still have it. I should do. Okay. Uh, hold on. Don't forget, light of fire. Wait, what? Wait, so you don't keep it? Um... Oh, okay. Do I have to go to the secret base the entire time then? I don't know. Wait a minute. Okay, guys. So, for the secret base and the homing ammo, apparently, I looked it up and I tried it out myself. Every time you get a medal on a difficulty, it only unlocks it for that difficulty. Not joking at all. So meaning I've got all medals on normal mode, so I only get the secret base on normal mode. If I do it on hard or expert, it won't be there. I have to get all medals on those ones to get it. So, yeah. That is such a pain in the ass, to be honest, because you definitely want the homing ammo. <laughs> Indeed. Um uh, and also if you want the home ammo every time you start the game, you have to always go to the secret base to get it again. So that's why it wasn't working when we reloaded it. But if we went to the secret base and got it, we could get it. The other thing I should mention is that if you want to use it with the other character that you've got in your party, you would have to go there another time to get the homing ammo again, but with the other character. And the homing ammo is not collectible again after one time with that character, so if I got it with Fox, I cannot get it again with Fox. Uh, but I can get it again with, like, Falco, for instance, I think. That's what it said on on the internet, anyway. But anywho, we got the records, luckily. And, let's just say, this song is beautiful. Yeah, and I kind of wish people made an extended version of this song, because it's so nice. Um, the detail, it means you can view each of these, so my recent one was like this, my first one. It was like in the middle of the C rank. No damage to corner area, of course. This is of course the playthrough one. Yeah. 
so a bit further. And then when I when I did when I did hard mode with uh, with Mew and Faye, uh, I got to be ranked just to unlock expert mode. And this was the score, and it has to be a B rank to get uh, expert mode. And the B rank is the maximum one you can get on hard mode. Uh, expert mode you can get A or star rank. You could also erase all data, which is like this. Now you might be thinking, oh no, you're going to lose all. But, again, Super Nintendo has, uh, well, Classic Edition has save states and rewind. So I've got it back. Except it loaded there for some reason. So yeah, okay, so... Yeah, so that'll be it for today's video, guys. For Star Fox 2. So next time on Star Fox 2, we will do the game again, but on hard mode, and then after that, on expert mode. And I will get, like, I will get the last medal on hard mode there. So, I shall see you guys next time. Video game jumping about. See you guys next time. Bye!